In the previous video, we saw how we can use the Leitner memory review system in Notion to help us manage our Bible memory. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to create that same system. So first of all, we need a blank page and we're going to make this a database page. And the first thing we'll want to do is change this first column from being called name to being called reference. We're going to change this tags column to be called, or actually before we call it anything, we're going to make it a relation column, going to be related to the current database that we're in, Bible memory. And we're going to choose this second option, use the same property. And we'll just call that part of. We're going to add two more columns. The first one is called type. And this is a select column. And the second one is also a select column. And this one is going to be called box. We're just going to add in what our types can be. Our types could be a chapter, could be a passage, could be a verse. And our box could have active as our initial box. We have box one, and we can choose how many boxes we want after this. Uh, in the previous video that I showed you, we had six boxes. We're going to go through and add six here. And then we're going to add an other category. Now we just want to go through and delete all of that information. Okay, so that's our setup for our table. Let's go through and just put in some basic information. So Mark chapter 3, put that in there, Mark 3 verses 1 to 6, Mark 3 verses 1. Okay, Mark 3 verse 1, well that is part of Mark 3 verses 1 to 6, so we're going to make that connection by clicking in the relevant box. In Mark 3 verse 1 to 6, that's part of Mark chapter 3. We'll add a type for each of these, so that's chapter, this one is a passage, and the one underneath it is a verse. And we are going to put them all into the active category. Now, at this point, we have created the system. So we could stop here, other than creating a board view. Let's go across, create a board view, and let's uh, fiddle around with this to get it to look nicer. So we're going to group by box. First of all, we're going to color columns. We're going to hide the no box column. Click on properties, hide everything except the reference. Click on subgroup and subgroup by type. And we're going to rearrange the type so that verse is first then passage, then chapter, and we're going to hide the no type section. Okay, so this is basically the system setup. We've got our verses, we've got our passages, we've got our chapters, and the only other thing we would need to do is to open up Mark 3.1 and copy and paste the text in there. So if we open up Mark 3.1, we just have to copy and paste the text in here so that we can check our answer every time we test ourselves. But that is basically the system set up, so we'd be ready to drag and drop things into different boxes as we get them right, or drag them back into active as we get them wrong. If you want to change the colors of any of these, you can press the three dots and choose a different color. So I like to have green as my active column, box one, you might like to have maybe red, and so on. You can choose the colors to your liking. But this is the system basically set up. If we go back to our default view, however, if we were to manually enter more information, so say mark 3 verse 2, we're going to have to edit three columns every time. And this is going to be a lot of work, particularly as we get large amounts of entries in our table. This is a verse, and we want it to be in the active column. But as we get more and more entries, we're going to find that there is a longer and longer list of items that we can be picking from to relate our verse 2. So in order to save this problem, we're going to 
come up to the top right and create two templates. The first one is going to be called New Chapter. And in the part of the document, we're going to press slash, we're going to search for linked database, create linked database, and we're going to look for the Bible memory database. Okay, we will make it full width just to make it fit the screen nicer. And we will then go through and filter. So we're going to create a filter. The most important filter that we are going to add here is that the part of column should be equal to new chapter. This basically means that whatever chapter we're in, any entry that we create here is going to be linked to that chapter. But we want to add some more filters. Uh, the next filter is box. So any new entry we create, we want it to appear in the active box. And this filter is going to make sure that anything we create is appearing inactive and another filter so that the type anything that we create within a chapter is going to be a passage so anything we create here will be in the active box it'll be a passage and it'll be related to whatever chapter we're in okay and we're going to create another template called new passage which is very similar the only difference is or the main difference is it's going to link to the current passage rather than current chapter. So we're going to call this Bible memory, that is the database we're linking to. Again, we're going to make this full width just to make it fit screen nicer. And we are going to set up a custom filter such that the part of column contains the current page, new passage. And add another filter so that the type is equal to verse because a passage is made of verses and last of all we're going to want to put it in the box the active box so that is the filters we're going to set up so when we create a new chapter we can open it up we can type in new chapter or press new chapter rather as the template and anything we enter in here is now going to be automatically linked to Mark chapter 3. It's also going to appear in the active box and will be listed as a passage. And we have our five passages from this chapter. In order to uh, make individual verses, we're going to open up one of these, so Mark 3 verse 1 to 6, and press the new passage template. And we will just start adding in verses, so Mark 1 verse, sorry, 3 verse 3, Mark 3 verse 4, Mark 3 verse 5, and Mark 3 verse 6. And you can see because we are in a passage type and we use the passage template, it's automatically listing all the entries in there as verses and in the active box and all linked to the relevant passage that we're in. Okay, so that's how we're going to be inputting information. If we want to put in a verse by itself, so let's say we are memorizing Mark 3 verse, uh, Mark 4 verse 5, we haven't yet included Mark 4 in here. We could put in the passage that it belongs to, or we could leave it blank and just put in Mark 4 verse 5, open it and just copy, in the, copy and paste in the text for that verse. But we would then have to manually go through and change this to verse and change it to active. So it would take a little bit longer if we were entering a lot of verses that way. Likewise, we could directly enter a passage in by going new and choosing to enter a new passage. Uh, so for example, Galatians, 1 verses 1 to 5. And because we chose to enter a new passage, it's automatically setting it up as a passage. Anything we enter here is going to be linked to this passage, but will be listed as a verse. Okay. So that's basically how we create the system. And we can go back to board view and we can see 
all of our verses, all of our passages, and all of our chapters. If we want to know whether we've set up a passage or not, we can just look and see if this page icon appears next to it. If there's no page icon, we haven't set it up. So for example, this passage here, Mark 3, verse 7 to 12, there's nothing in here. If we press new passage template, it will set it up. And we can see that it's set up by the page icon that appears next to it. Uh, but we haven't actually added any verses in, and obviously we can't see any verses in here. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful. If you've got any suggestions for variations or any ways that you've used the system slightly differently, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.